to check back in. My name is Derek. We're going to be doing a grounding mindfulness practice. So what I did is I got all the comfy things that I could find uh, within a pretty large square distance of myself, a couple of miles even. Um, yeah, some pillows, some blocks, a bolster if you've got it. I do not have a bolster, but I do have a long body pillow and it does pretty well for me. Uh, today's practice, we're going to be doing grounding, which is to connect yourself with the the earth and ground underneath you. We're going to be trying to connect to each other a little bit, especially being so distant and just taking this time to rest kind of away from our thoughts. So as you settle, I want to give a few minutes for you to collect anything that you might want or need. So you're welcome to either pause this video if it's a recording or just take the next minute or two to bring yourself to your space, to let go of whatever efforts it took to get here. That is, um, anything, any activities that it took to set this up and even be able to see and hear me in this moment. And just get yourself set with whatever you might need. Something to drink, something warm, a couple blankets, 12 if you've got them. Totally uh, recommended on my part for that. <clears throat> Microphone seems to still be on, that's good. Now, if you are joining uh, and you are watching on Twitch, which I have in the description for the Facebook Live video, um, you can actually chat and it will pop up on the screen so I can kind of see what you're thinking and talking about, as well as um, some of the other things I can respond to afterwards. About another 30 seconds and we will get the whole thing started. If you are here and ready to go, again, just find a comfortable seat and Bring your attention to your breath without needing to change it or disturb it in any way. Now to officially start, and my name is Derek. I'm part of Superhero Fitness, and this is today's mindfulness practice um, focused on grounding. Now for this practice, if you have any blocks, bolsters, blankets on the sort, um, you might bring that or anything that just makes you feel comfortable. And as you're ready, I want you to take, uh, please take a comfortable seat, uh, either in a chair, on the ground, myself, I'm on a block that is comfortable for my body. And let any of the activities that it took to get here today to be in this present moment. Let those activities, any of the things that came before today, let all those thoughts and emotions settle as you find yourself here in this precious moment. You might take your gaze but down and inward or even close your eyes gently and soften your eyelids. And then gently bring your attention to any part of the body that is in contact with the ground or whatever surface that is that is just beneath you. That could be your feet on the floor, your hips and seat on the ground, a block, a chair. And notice these different sensations that they are all unique and different. You might notice that they each have their own different pressure. They might have a different texture. You might notice that your right knee's interpretation of this moment is different than your left knee. And even a little bit more subtle than that, you might notice that each of these points has a different temperature. And we'll let our practice be on these couple different focuses. So anytime your mind wanders, just bring yourself back to your connection with the ground, its temperature, pressure, texture, or density.
And you might notice that your connection and even the depth and ease of attention is different from different parts of your body. That the bonier positions might be a little bit easier to connect to. And you might notice these positions without needing them to be different, without needing to change them. And just notice that this is your feeling and interpretations in this moment that is ever changing, that is dynamic. You might notice the natural inhales and exhales of your body and how even that has a very subtle change on these connections with the ground. And then you might imagine that your connection with the ground goes deeper than just the superficial connection of you with the ground itself. That as your wheat sinks into the ground, it might even feel that it goes a little bit deeper. Possibly not just physically, but also energetically. That as your energy grounds into the earth, the earth also gives you back support and stability. That this support and stability is given to you without bias, without judgment, without any expectation from you. And know that the others that are here in practice, myself, those who are doing this practice now, or those who might do it in the future, will be connecting to that same stability. And now you might send yourself just a little bit deeper by inviting your energy and presence to reach down and through the earth, through your connected points, almost as if reaching like roots out and abound, searching for each other. That in this time of where many people are feeling isolated or disconnected, that there is a sense of connection that others, unbeknownst to you, are in this same practice, possibly at the same moment, in the future and in the past. That even those who have done this ancient practice have thought on and reached out for the energy that you have, that you may be sending now, and that you might connect to to theirs. You might even sense what that might look like to you. You might be able to sense that even in separateness through technology or even just through focus, there is some connection between us all.
that even those who are not in practice are connected through the stability and grounding center that we call the earth. And you might even notice that as you're practicing, your attention may wander. And as you bring it back, you might do so gently with a bit of loving kindness for your situation, for the distractions, which may be very powerful or might be very subtle today. And then without forcing them out, we gently let them go on their way to bring us back to this precious and present moment. And now for just a moment of silence, hold yourself here gently as you breathe without needing to change your breath, but just being present in it and its connection with your grounding. And now you might keep your eyes closed, but we're going to transition to a laying position. If you're already in a laying position, you're welcome to stay there or adjust kind of as we do. Uh, now for this one, if you do have blocks, um, a pillows can also be used as an option. I might recommend that you have one block set up here with a bolster or some sort of lift that we will lay on. And also knowing that you're guide your coach makes mistakes. I know that I told you to keep your eyes closed and then gave you something to look at. Um, <laughs> you might take your block so that your head would be elevated and underneath something soft. This can also be done with blankets or something else that you might just be creative with. Um, our starting position here will be to lay back your head supported at the base of the skull so that your chin is not compressed but is a little bit actively open, your chin even reaching towards the sky. And then your palms down by your sides. Um, oh, so excuse me, one more piece. Uh, so with something also to boost up your knees. So you might take a block, a blanket, a stack of blankets, just something for a little support underneath your knees as your hands rest at your sides. Palm face down for a little bit more connection. Palms face up to, receive, to be a little more receptive. And then gently bring your attention to the ground now and your connection to it, noting that it is different and quite possibly less dense than your sitting position. That there are more contact points, which you might note, even down to individual pieces such as your fingertips, your fingerprints themselves. Your heels and the curvature of your spine. And take refuge in this moment of rest where you might have no responsibilities. Nothing that needs to be done in this moment. With the knowledge that you are safe enough You are warm enough and you are resourced enough. And as possible, allow yourself to be here without any expectation of what may or may not happen. 
just to witness the precious moment that is right now. And again, anytime your mind goes to wander with ease and gentleness, you just gently usher it back to notice pressure, temperature, and possibly even texture. And on your next inhale, or sorry, exhale, you might roll onto your left side, laying so that your hips are stacked, your head is still on the block, your shoulders will stack, and then your knees will pull in gently towards your elbows, creating a fetal position. You may have to adjust based on your bolster and setup. You may find you just want to change it completely. But find somewhere that you can rest without distraction. The shoulders stacked over each other, your right shoulder, your right hip stacked over your left hip. Then noticing the sensation of the back of your left hand in contact with the ground, I invite you to inhale and raise your right arm up towards the sky. And then exhale, keeping, keep your hips, hips stacked. Let your arm fall off to the right, creating a gentle twist through your center. Your arm may reach the ground, might hover just above it. You might notice that it creates a slightly different sensation of connection with the breath inside your body. And on your next exhale, gently close the twist, bringing the arm straight above, and then back to match your left hand on the ground. And one more time with that, after a moment's rest, you'll inhale, raise your arm up. Exhale, gently lower your arm back behind you as much as is comfortable and sustainable. You might notice if your right hip tends to track backwards, you might pull it back so that your knees and hips stay in alignment. And notice the gentle stretch that it creates through the side of your body. And on your next inhale, raise the arm up. And exhale, bring the arm back together. And take about three breaths of time to just notice any echo of sensation throughout your body. Notice the felt scent and your connection to it, any tingling or distractedness that may exist. And take refuge in the fact that you can't really get this wrong and you don't need to get it right. And as is comfortable, gently roll to your back and to the opposite side. And we'll gently flip around so that facing the same way still. And find yourself that your right hip is down, your right shoulder is down with your left shoulder stacked above it, your knees gently tracing in towards your elbows, and your hands stacked. Noticing this side's felt sense of this position. Noting that it may be different and likely is as our sides are not symmetrical, nor do they feel the same, nor is our connection to our body the same on each side. 
And as you inhale next, raise the arm up. And exhale, initiate the twist, doing your best to gently keep the hips stacked. For some, this might just mean that your upper arm, your left arm is still mostly above your body, but that you still might have a strong connection to the twist that is happening throughout your body. And do your best not to strive so that this side needs to be the same as the other. They're both different sides with different experiences. Exhale, bring the arm back up to your center. Inhale, hands come to meet. And one final time, inhale, arm to sky. Exhale, arm to twist. And hold for three, two, and one gentle return to center. And find yourself to rest in your fetal position. Or any other position that is comfortable for you to end your practice. more visit the connection to others in this practice, knowing that I'm reaching out to you without bias, without judgment, that you might be doing the same for others. And how might you gently receive that energy, that connection? And to meet how we started, you might bring yourself back to a seated position. And finding yourself upright, your eyes may remain closed. Close everything out with one deep breath going in through the nose and out through the mouth, breathing in. And full open exhale, let it go. Let your hands gently come to meet at heart center and gently bow your head to your hands. Thank you for joining me for this practice. Um, I'll be checking any comments or anything on the videos, so feel free to reach out. And if you have any practice that you would like to see, uh, feel free to reach out as I'll be cycling through different ones that I'm aware of as I practice and learn more and help to share this practice with all of you. Again, my name is Derek, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Take care.